ulampang ka ying dor bar thau an jong ka meglayo ba met pa ling do menta ka jan mit ulapen wai no ek dor bar sin ra jong ka ying dor bar thau an hadin bala yo ban ye kren halor ki babun ki phang yakni ka dor bar la la ban pelong hnriu sngi bala yo ik jing ye kren ba phair ba phair na ka liang sin char bat kum ju ru na ka liang persha kawe ni ki jing ye kren ha ka ni ka ying dor bar ka long halor ka phang jong ka jing bamla atre kam jong ka sarkar jilla Hakbe a day, but can he, Kajinka no, Jungi to Kot Kalyang Persha, Umin three Rangba, Kajala, Konrad K. Sangma, Ulapan Pike Thin Killa, Dakaba Ong, Bakasorkar, Miglaya Democratic Alliance, Kalala, Banle Boon, Ki Aki, Hakiniki Lies Nembala Dep, Katbakisorkar, Balalit no, Kim Shim Lala, Banle, Hapokini, South Hon Yos Nembala Dep. The position and ruling and the public votes for certain number of members, and the team that has maximum number of members forms the government, and the other side. Is the opposition and in the assembly the opposition is able to answer or question the government on different important issues of the people and why say the building wasn't completed why the road wasn't completed I was explaining this to her and then I told her that so we are now in the ruling last three years and uh, the party that was in the opposition was there for eight years and uh, now they are in the opposition and now we are in the, or rather, not eight years, even more than that, almost about 10, 15 years. And we were in the opposition that time. She said, okay, so what is happening now? So I said, tomorrow they will ask me questions, why this road is not made, why that road is not made. So I asked her, what do I do? She said, you ask them, what did you do in the last 10 years then? <laughs> Sir, it's very easy to point fingers. So there was a time when in the vaccination, we were the last in the country. Worst, rank number 28. 28 ranking, sir. That is failure. That is failure, ranking 28 in terms of vaccination. Today, we are ranked number three. This is success, sir. I want to ask, is this failure or success? In PMGSY, we had hundreds of kilometers of road that were not completed. Hundreds of kilometers. Government of India was ready to blacklist us. But then our Deputy Chief Minister, the entire PWD team, the Chief Engineers, they worked day and night. And today, hundreds of kilometers of roads have been constructed. Government of India has, in fact, informed us that the performance of Meghalaya is good, that we're going to move ahead with another phase. Now, is that failure or is this failure? When the blacklisted projects of those government earlier, we have managed to revive them and worked and finished those projects. MG and REGA. Today, we are spending more than 1,300 crores. There was a time, five years back, when our amount was not even 600 crores. We have increased our expenditure MG and REG from 600 to 1,300 crore. Is that failure or is that success, sir? So there was a time before 2018 when we had just 3,000 self-help groups under NRLM and other programs. Just 3,000. We distributed 18 crores to them. Government of India pulled us up. This is what is happening. Why aren't you able to create more self-help groups? Why aren't you able to complete the work and ensure that more groups are formed and distribute the money we gave? So we worked hard. The team, the officials worked day and night. And today from 3,000 groups, we have reached 33,000 groups. From 18 crores, we have reached 200 crores. So is that failure or success? Sir, uh, this assembly building, I don't know what we call it. We've been here for almost 20 years. And before 2018, nobody could decide what to do. No decision was made. But then when this government came in, in 2018, we made a decision that we will start the construction. And sir, today in your leadership, we are almost about to complete the new assembly building. Is this failure or is this success, sir? I would like to ask the opposition. Why did it take 18 years for you not to decide? Sir, again, I'm, I, I really don't like to compare this, but I'm left with no choice when the opposition brings up these issues. 
There were times, sir, I used to be member of parliament, so I used to have these Disha meetings. You go to the villages, and senior citizens used to be there, and they're very, very vocal, they're very active. So they used to, so half the public used to be the old people, because they also had time, and they liked to have these meetings and discussions. They used to tell me, when will we get our old age pension? I used to say, huh? what happened? How long has it been? It's been nine months. Somebody would say it's been 12 months. Some say I've not got for the last two years. So this was the kind of situation that our senior citizens had to face. And as soon as we came into the government, we decided that in order to avoid any kind of inconvenience to our senior citizens, instead of waiting for the money or the, 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 the demand or the whatever, the letters to come to us asking for the amount, we would release money in advance for three months to ensure that our old people, our senior citizens got this in advance. And in most of the blocks today, sir, most of the blocks, there could be 5-10% problem, I admit that, but 90% of the areas, our senior citizens today are getting the old age pension, our uh, disabled and differently able people are getting, the single mother and the widows are also getting their pensions on time, as their uh, uh, monthly remuneration on time, and even the master roles. Yesterday, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister mentioned in his reply that there was a time that the master roles had to wait for months and months. But today, in most of the departments, again, sir, I will not claim that we have completely resolved it. It takes time. There are a lot of master roles in a lot of departments. But majority of them today, majority of them receive their salaries along with the other employees of the state government on full time, sir. Is this failure or is this success? I would like to ask the opposition, sir. You look at what a supply scheme. Sir, there was a time when the PHE engineers and officials didn't know what to do. Why? Because they had no work. There was no money for PHE. And PHE officials for two to three years stopped all the schemes. There was no work going on at the grassroots. So this was, there was a time like this, sir. But then as soon as we came in to government in 2018, sir, we looked at the different central government schemes. We budgeted properly. We realized that there are certain funds that come in for PWD. There are certain funds that come in for water resources. There are funds that come in for other departments. But somehow, PHE, because of the discontinuity of JNNURM and other programs, the PHE department was in a blank. And so we decided that we will use the donor ministry funds. We will use the RIDF funds. And we will give from state budget funds to PHE because they don't get it. And after we started doing that, sir, the PHE department started getting activated. Today, Nongstein Water Supply Scheme, which had been in the cold storage for years and years, today is almost at the end of completion. The Ramwa Water Supply Scheme, where had, it was in the cold storage, the Honorable Member and Minister took me there. It was, of course, a very uh, tactful way he did it, because he called me for a different program, but he took me for the water supply scheme also. And then he made me commit to the people that we will complete the water supply. But looking at the condition of the people, I just couldn't say no. So I said, yes, I will do it, but in a phase-wise manner. And not only that, today, if you see the JJM program that's going on, yes, a lot of members have discussed about it and questioned that what is this JJM program? Why is it doing it? Sir, the people who are questioning this, they, are they saying that they don't want people to get water supply? What is the kind of message we're giving? Are you saying that you don't want your people to get water supply? It's our responsibility, sir, to find ways and means to do it. And this government has done it. And we are ensuring that most of the people will get water supply scheme. And having said that, I'm not saying that it's going to be an easy way. It's tough. Maybe about 60-70% will be able to get the source. In that also, we'll have to create sources in different areas. For the rest, 30-40% challenge is there. But does that mean that we just don't do anything? Does that mean that we just stop the JJM program? Sir, I don't approve of this stand and this attitude. It is the objective and the work of this government to try to ensure that we're able to achieve these goals. One of the honorable members 
In fact, sir, I don't know if you were able to follow all the points mentioning. Every time they were speaking, sir, by mistake or I don't know how, somewhere they would end up praising the government and saying it has done something. Though they are talking about failure, failure, but somewhere the good points also came out because it's there. They couldn't help it. They couldn't help it. Now, one of the members mentioned about the flights. Sir, there was a time when the Umroy airport was becoming a complete, uh, you know, go down. Nothing was happening there. Just completely shut. Not a single flight took off from Umroy. No movement took place. But within the last three years, today there's a flight to Kolkata. There's a flight to Imphal. There's a flight to Agartala, to Arunachal Pradesh. And very soon, sir, we have, of course, started the Delhi flight also. The Delhi flight has problems because of COVID. We had issues because the uh, people were not uh, coming in. And it's not a program that's funded by government of India in the terms of the Uran. But we have ensured that sufficient funding is given from our side to start the Delhi flights. And those flights also have started and will ensure that the frequency of this also increases. So isn't this improvement? Again, I don't like to use the word success because I don't believe that uh, one can call it for your own work. But these are improvements that we have made. Today, if you look at uh, the focus program that we have for the farmers, for 48, 49 years, no government had thought about the farmers. We spent thousands of crores for other programs. We spent thousands of crores for salaries, whether it's the government employees, whether it's the teachers. But then the four and a half lakh family members of different producer groups and farmers were not getting anything for the last 48 years. And that's the reason we changed this name of this um, ministry and called it Farmers' Welfare, Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare. And there was a reason behind it, because we had already decided in the first year itself that we must start a welfare program for the farmers. I'm happy to inform everybody. It's sad to see that uh, we don't get too much of media coverage on this particular program. I don't know the reason why. But this program is a program that is helping the farmer where it matters. A direct transfer is being made to the producer groups that are actually running this. And this will actually transform the lives, the small expenditures they need to buy seeds, the small expenditures they need to buy the water pipe. These are the kind of expenditures now they will not have to depend on the middlemen to do this. These are the kind of programs. Today, for the first time, the entrepreneurs are being recognized. Never in the history of our state were our nano and small-time entrepreneurs ever recognized. You go and ask our entrepreneurs today, they have a place to go. They can go to the incubation centers, to the prime hubs. They can talk to the officials. They can talk to professors from IIM and ask them, how do I make a business plan? How do I apply to the bank for loan? Where are the suppliers who can give me the machinery that I want? Sir, there was never a program like this. And for the first time, the entrepreneurs are enthusiastic in the state. And they are really wanting to move forward. And this is what this government has done. In regards to our administration, the public uh, Right to Public Service Delivery Act, it's a landmark act. A lot of people don't realize it. But this will transform the way we provide service at the grassroots level.